today we're going to talk about sugar all right so on the last video that i did i talked about salt and the different alternatives you can use in place of the regular table salt like celtic sea salt now i want to talk about sugar because i feel like this is also that one thing that people in our community don't understand that we're consuming absolutely too much of in a processed state and the reason why we're having issues with diabetes, hyperglycemia, and hypoglycemia as well is because we are consuming artificial processed sugars on a daily basis. This is the one. This is the one that needs to be talked about probably the most out of everything. First and foremost, sugar is also a dehydrator just like salt, especially in its processed state. So when you're consuming a lot of sugars, you can almost bet that you are drying your skin out, you're drying everything out. That is the basis of what you eat on a consistent basis, meaning that most of the foods that you consume are processed and have regular sugar in it, processed sugar in it, added sugars. This is breeding grounds for the growth of candida, which is yeast. This is the breeding grounds of you having issues with your eyesight, which has to do with your pancreas. This is breeding grounds for you to have issues with your blood sugar, which also has to do with your pancreas. This has the potential to cause you to have issues with your nervous system. I am not a doctor and I don't want to be a doctor. This is for entertainment purposes only. But anyway, I'm going to talk about some alternatives y'all could use in place of this regular processed sugar that we use you know the one with the pink bottom and the white top see i don't got none of that in my house because we don't play that now i nobody has bought that in the house i looked around we don't i don't we don't have that that's not here first and foremost before i do start talking about the different processed sugars that are good i do want to talk about one thing that i think should be considered more than anything and that is getting medjool dates Medjool dates are going to be your best bet when you are looking for things to be sweetened, okay? If you are a person that is battling current issues with your, you know, diabetes or with anything related to your sugar, you need to stay away from highly processed sugars. Processed sugars in general, I think that people who are already having health issues in regards to their sugar intake should not consume any sugar unless it's coming directly from fruit. Me personally, this is for entertainment purposes only. I just, just doing this, remember what I'm saying. I don't think you should be consuming any processed sugar. Dates would be fine if you wanna use dates. Dates are still in a more holistic form the only thing is dates are kind of dried out date is an actual fruit and it's a dried fruit now because it is a dried fruit it might have a higher sugar content i say that if you're going to consume anything with sugar your best bet is to use medjool dates i will show y'all the dates that i use i think i have a clip somewhere i probably have to insert it i found this place and they are so expensive and i do not care but them dates are delicious okay dates are going to be your best bet to sweeten smoothies shakes to put it in uh smoothie bowls some people eat dates just by themselves like it's candy because of how sweet they are. Some people make little candy bars out of dates like protein bars and stuff like that out of dates. When people are making popsicles for their children, they sweeten the fruit with the dates and make it into a popsicle. Like dates are so amazing for sweetening. They are super good. The only thing is they do look like roaches, big old cockroaches, but I mean, listen, listen, they taste good. I used to be afraid of them too. I did not want to touch them. I remember when my mom went vegan years ago when I was still like a teenager, somewhere around like 18, 17. And she told me about dates and she was like, try one. And I'm like, no, like lady, I'm not finna eat that. Dude, that shit looks like a roach. I'm not finna eat no roach. Like, listen, I was just like y'all when it comes to the whole changing my diet. Like, no, I'm not eating that. I don't know what that is. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna go over here and eat my macaroni and cheese and my rib tips. You can do that, it's helping you, but I don't have health issues, so I don't gotta do that. Now, I'm the one that's a stickler for eating healthy, like, whatever. I just wanted to mention dates first because dates are the top of the list for me whenever I'm looking to sweeten anything. They're the most natural, they contain fiber, they have iron, they have a lot of different minerals in it too. Dates are just really good. They're really like a super food, super good. They help you go to the bathroom. That's like one of the biggest key things for me. Whew. One day I'll tell my story. Dates really help you to have a good flow 
So if you're looking for something that you can take for that, dates are good. Now I'm gonna get into the process, the healthier processed sugar alternatives. So that if you don't like dates and you're somebody who is just dead set on not trying dates, then you can try these alternatives. I'm telling y'all what I'm about to mention is gonna be far better than the sugar with the pink bottom and the white top that every restaurant uses, whatever, they sweeten the food with that stuff. This sugar is one that I use. This is organic coconut sugar. I think I really like this brand better though. So this is organic coconut palm sugar. I actually like coconut sugar better than I like date sugar. Actual date sugar is also an option if you wanna get processed sugar if you do not like to eat actual dates. I do not have that here right now, but date sugar has a distinctive taste to it. It kind of throws off stuff to me, and I really don't like that because if I'm cooking stuff, I want it to come out a particular type of way. I don't wanna have the actual taste or the flavor of the dates in the sweetening of my food as well. I hope that makes sense because dates have a different type of, they are sweet, but they have a certain type of sweet taste. Only the people that have eaten these things know what I'm talking about. Coconut sugar actually tastes really, really good to me. I love the flavor of coconut sugar. It does not taste like coconut for the people who do not like coconuts. It does not taste like coconut. It is sweet, but it is not an overbearing sweetness. It is not a burn your throat sweetness. Y'all gotta, y'all just gotta try it. I can't explain the taste, y'all just gotta try it. After coconut sugar and date sugar, the next thing that I'll grab if I don't have any of those is maple syrup. Maple syrup is one of those things that's not really talked about like that, and I don't know why. Maple syrup is a sweetener for everything. My thing is it's not just used for pancakes, like people putting it on waffles and stuff like that, and it's actually healthier for you than some of the other processed sugars and sweeteners that we hear about on the market. I like to go for the maple syrup a lot before I ever grab like something like agave. Agave is next, but I would like to go and grab the maple syrup because the maple syrup is also in a glass container and I I live for anything in a glass container, but we know it comes from a tree. So I like to use that. I don't have any maple syrup in here right now. I will insert a picture of the maple syrup that I actually do use if I don't have any dates or any coconut sugar or date sugar. The next thing after maple syrup is going to be agave. The reason why agave would be the last thing I pick up as an alternative is because there is a certain level of processing that goes into making agave and certain companies lack integrity and they will do this processing that causes all the nutrients to be stripped and you might as well just eat the sugar with the, the, the you know, the cane sugar. You might as well eat the processed cane sugar if you don't eat that. I had a personal experience with agave where it started to make me have cramps and I was not on my period, so I was concerned. I actually heard someone talk about how agave does cause uterine contractions in women and I did not know until it happened to me that that was actually a fact. The darker ones I find don't do that to me, but if somebody uses the light amber color agave, that's when I start to have cramps in my uterus. If anything makes me feel like if it don't make me feel good i'm not i'm not touching it and it all it took was for that time for that to happen and then that's how i also know who's sweetening their juices with agave once you change the sugar that you use you can spot when something has artificial sugar in it like this i always go for agave last because of my experience and also because i'm leaning more into a natural form of sweetening and in doing so over the last few years of my life, I have really drastically changed my taste buds to the point where I can stomach eating things without sweetness. I don't crave sugar. I don't really have an issue with that. Like I, I'm not dying for sugar. Like I don't need certain things to be sweet. I don't need candies and cookies and ice creams and all that. When you stop consuming processed sugar, you stop craving processed sugar. But also, there could be the fact that you may have parasites that make you crave processed sugar too because they love that. This is just for y'all to switch out of your house. So we're not gonna mention <laughs> when you buy certain foods that are prepackaged that have 
these processed sugars in them as well. This is why you want to switch out the things that you cook with in your house, that you use in your house on a day to day, so that when you do go out and you are enjoying the creation of life at restaurants and you know, sometimes you want a little snacky snack, you wanna get you some vegan cupcakes or something like that. This can limit your exposure to the unnecessary toxins that are in those processed foods that you're gonna go get so that you're not overly exposed to these things and causing other issues in your body. Now you got the time, the energy, and the space to be able to play around with stuff without it causing you to have detrimental disease is in your body. So these are my personal alternatives for sugar. I really recommend y'all to take into consideration the stuff that I'm telling y'all about the sugar and the salt. Those are one of the two key things that really got us in a chokehold with health issues. All these different health ailments that we have come from us not consuming things in a more natural state on a consistent basis. It's not about not eating these things at all. You want to get to that point eventually, but the transition phase is really to keep you from being so far left with it. So you've been over here all your life consuming processed BS. Now you need to come all the way back over here and start to consume things that are more natural and more healthier so that you can find that equilibrium and that balance to where you can do both. You can have both in a healthy balance and it does not tarnish you. It does not destroy you. It does not limit you. It does not harm you. It does not lower your frequency. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to find that medium to where it doesn't mess up your body chemistry. And so that's all I'm here to just present to y'all. Ways that you can utilize certain things to transition and help yourself. Different things that you can use in place of things that are very, very, very destructive and have been destructive for all this time. So that's all I have for sugar. Like I said, we're going to start with dates. Date sugar, coconut sugar, maple syrup, and then agave. Those are the top sugar replacement alternatives that I have for you guys, and I will see you on the next one.